Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting this little e-commerce store together with the free, free version of Elementor. Today we're going to add a Lottie animation. Now Lottie is a site that provides free and paid animations. If I just get out of here and we'll go to the home page. I went over to animations. I'll put this link below the video. And they provide all these different animations here. All these top ones are free and there's plenty of them. And if you go down, they've also got some premium ones which start off real cheap, 99 cents and go up to about eight or seven or eight dollars. You can also request people build certain types of animations that will suit your type, so suit your site, which is pretty cool. So let's get started. All you need to do is choose whatever animation you want. You can put in a keyword up here like office or something like that. I think that's what I chose before. And once you find the one that you want to use, that's the one I just used before. Let's use a slightly different one here. Let's take this one this time. It'll open up in a new window. Now we've done videos before where you can load it with a JSON file using another third party plugin. But if you don't have a plugin, you can just simply go down a little bit and they've got an HTML button here. And it'll open up in a new page. You can set the play mode normal or bounce, forward, reverse. You can set a background color. I'm going to leave it as transparent here because we'll actually put the uh, background color in or a gradient color in using the Elementor. You can set the size here. I'm going to increase mine to about 500 pixels, I think. And you can also set the speed. It's one, it's double the speed. And as you can see, that speeds it up. I quite like that actually, that speed. Or you can slow it down by saying something like 0.5. And as you can see, that really slows it down. I quite like that too, or even 2.5. Let's try that. Yeah, that's fine. And below that, you can choose whether to show the controls. These are the controls. I don't particularly want to show that. Auto play, which means it'll just automatically play, obviously. Uh, you can uh, choose whether to play it on hover or not and choose whether loop. If you uncheck that, once it's gone through its cycle once, it'll stop. I'm going to leave mine looped so it just goes round and round. Now when you're done, it outputs the code at the bottom here. And you can either select and copy or just hit the copy code button. Now that we've copied the code, let's go back to our site. In fact, I can close that page. I've got it open here and I'll delete this row. We'll start again or delete the section I should say. Because it's code, we can use a code block. Here's all the Elementor widgets here in the little matrix. You can use a text editor if you, if you want, but it's got a specific HTML module down here. Here we are. So I'm going to left click and drag this over. And we simply paste our code in here. Control V to paste. And the animation's shown up there, fantastic. What I'll do is I'll add another column so we can keep this one separate and have something else over here perhaps. The little black tabs for the column there, little blue ones for the actual module or widget itself, and the big blue one at the tops for the section. So I'm gonna right click on the column and hit add new column. There we've now got two. And our first one here, I'm simply gonna go in, just make sure I've got it selected. I'm going to go to style. I'm going to go to the background, which is the top there. You've got color, gradient, or slideshow, which is an image background if you only use one slide. So I'm going to use gradient. I'm going to leave that red in the bottom, and I'm just going to put blue up the top. Yeah, fantastic. When you're done, just hit the update button. And let's preview our changes. go down to where we were and there you have it that is a nice little feature to have on your site that's going to get people's eyeballs on it pretty quickly when it rolls up the screen so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.